Thank you guys for coming. Yay, you're back, you came back. I'm so excited about that, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Keem, and I'm here to make cooking easier for you. I'm gonna show you guys a simple way to fry up some fish. Real simple, it only has four ingredients. That's it. <laughs> simple, 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 and delicious. You guys gotta try it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and keep coming back. Listen, if today's not the first time that you are watching one of my videos, you need to come, you need to just subscribe and keep coming back so you can keep coming back. You need to subscribe so you know when I'm putting up the next tutorial because come on, you're here, right? You're here again, so you might as well subscribe. And if you do subscribe, thank you. Thank you, join the family. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. I'm also on Facebook as well as Instagram, but come back if you want cooking instruction that's simple and easy and yummy. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this fried fish. Let's get into it. I used frozen flounder, and this is about six pieces that are thawed out, and I patted it dry and then we need to season it. We're going to use um, some kosher salt and you'll see I just eyeball it and cover it with some salt. And then we're gonna use onion powder and do the same thing, I eyeball it, sprinkle some liberally over the fish because I like onion powder. And then we're going to use paprika and we're gonna do the same thing sprinkle it over the fish to completely cover the top part of the fish after we put the three seasonings in then we're going to move the fish around in the bowl so that it covers all of the seasonings cover all of the fish you can also put it inside of a plastic bag and shake it up and get the same results but since I'm not using that much fish, I decided to do it this way. And then finally, we're gonna add, this is one cup of all-purpose flour, and we're going to sprinkle that over the top of the fish. And we're gonna use the hand, my hand I'm using to move the flour around and make sure that each piece of fish is properly coated with flour. And what I like to do after this is, um, add a little bit more seasoning on top. So I'll sprinkle in a little bit more paprika and a little bit more garlic powder just to make sure that everything is seasoned properly. And after that, we're going to get ready to drop these bad boys in the hot oil. Make sure your oil is heating up as well while you're preparing the fish and you want it to be good and hot. It has to be super, super hot. Um, I can't tell you the temperature. If I find out what that is, I will put it in the description box in the recipe. So here is the hot oil, and we're just gonna start dropping that fish in. Make sure that you shake off the excess flour before you drop it in so that you don't have bits of flour burning inside the oil. And I'm just gonna fry these up until they're golden inside uh, the oil until they get golden brown in the oil and you'll be able to see when it's time to remove them because the color will change from obviously white flour to a nice golden brown color. And I'm just gonna fry up these six pieces really quickly and uh, yeah, we are good. Mm, that looks delicious. This is what the fish looks like after you fry it up. Um, you can notice that it is a nice light coating, but it's a good golden brown color, and the fish is fluffy and light on the inside. And let me tell you something, this is the best 
Now, um, I decided that I wanted to have some sweet potato fries with this. So I just didn't show it to you on camera because it's really simple, but basically I just sliced up the sweet potatoes into these wedges and then I fried them up. And here they are completed. After they're cooked, and these kind of take a while to crisp up, I just season them with a little bit of sea salt and that's it, and we are good. Here it is, served with watermelon and microgreens. Mm. Whew, so listen, that fish, delicious. Simple, easy, crunchy, not too much of coating, deep fried, but not oily. Ah, everything about it is just perfect. And listen, comment subscribe share but let me know if you try if and when you try this particular recipe because i'm telling you you will not be dissatisfied i'm glad you guys are here thanks for coming back and i'll see you in the next one i'll see you in the next one make sure you fill your life with blessings bless yourself bless others and Fill every day with yummy dishes. We home cooking. You got to fill your day with yummy dishes. All right? Peace. I'll see you guys in the next video.